Hey friends, I have a Costco haul for you. All I'm doing is grocery hauls. I promise I have more content coming. It's just like post holidays. This is the first time I've been to Costco since before Christmas. So it's been a while. I spent a lot of money, a lot of money. I spent $500 and $515. I got a lot of stuff. Some of the stuff I just needed, you know, veg and things. And then I found some stuff that had the asterisk of death, which means that Costco is getting rid of them, which makes me very sad because they have been staples in my Costco videos. If you've been watching the last couple ones, that makes me sad. I got a new, it's not a new bakery item, it's the food court item, I'll come right back to that. And then I had one, two, three, four, five things that were on sale. Two of them I went because they were on sale and the other ones I just happened to stumble upon and grab them. So I'm going to share all of that with you. I don't think there was anything super exciting find wise. The only thing seasonal, and it's not just Costco, but at the grocery store, the strawberries are so pretty right now. I have this theory that they come out with really good strawberries right before Valentine's Day for chocolate covered strawberries and things. Matt rolled his eyes when I told him that. So I'm going to show you all that. And my Costco in, I guess it's not bigger items, the food court area, they retired the churro. I don't know if you've ever tried that. Like the hot dog and the pizza are all like standard. The churro was okay. I got it one time. It was like me. I told Matt, I don't think I'd get it again. It wasn't like a true fried churro. It was like a frozen reheated churro kind of vibe. But they have these. This is the Costco chocolate chip cookie. My Costco has it. I've heard people going crazy about it. I mean, like, look how big this thing is. It's like huge, huge. I heard a rumor. I saw it online. I don't know if it's true that they bought out Crumble. It's like a cupcake cookie company kind of a thing. So that's where these came from. At my Costco, they were $2.49 and you can add ice cream and make like a float out of them. Not a float, a sundae kind of a thing. Kids are going nuts upstairs. I didn't do that. Matt actually ate a whole one in the car and said he didn't feel too good. I ate about like a third of it. I'm going to milk mine and eat it all day, but they are very good. But $2.49 for a single cookie. Again, it's huge. So let me know, does your Costco have the cookie, the chocolate chip cookie that had been all over like the DMV area. People are like, which Costco has the cookies? Okay, so this like minimal effort in organizing, as you can see, I'll go through it. And then I kind of just threw all these on the counter. My kids are like, hurry up, mom. I want to go play in the snow. It is a very pretty snow day here in Virginia. We're supposed to get like two inches of snow. This is like the first snow that we've had in years. So my kids have never really played or been on a sled. So I'm gonna rush through this so we can run outside. Okay, I feel like you need to play really sad music here. These two Two things had the asterisk of death, which means Costco's getting rid of them. This was Matt's favorite, the Soma, Soma Creamery Pepperoni Pizza Crisps. I have seen these at my Food Lion, and actually they had different flavors. So this is a 9.5 ounce bag, and I did get four of them, because I don't know if the next time I go they'll have them. They were $9.99 each. And then these are my favorite, the Wisp Pop Cheese. They're not like flat, they're kind of like half circle shapes. These are 10 ounce bags and they also had the asterisk of death which means they are not coming back anytime soon. I actually like these in a bowl with some of the mini pretzels. It's absolutely delicious. $9.79 for those. The liquid IV is on sale. This was like a big item that they had staged out and they have a whole bunch of different flavors. I don't like this as much as Matt does, so he picked this one out. This is the sugar-free, I guess, citrus, lemon, lime, 24 packs. This was $8 off, so originally $28.99, and it was $20.99. This was like a scavenger hunt to find out where I put all these things. Uh, the holidays wiped me out in butter, so I got a restock of the Costco version of the Kerrygold butter. This is the Kirkland Signature grass-fed butter. There are four eight-ounce bars in here, and this was $9.99. I didn't need this, but this is such a better price, I think, than Thrive. I have to price check it. But this was just $11.99, not on sale. And it is one quart and 1.8 fluid ounces, or one liter, I guess. Is it a liter and a quart? I don't know. Whatever that measurement comes out to. And $11.99. I think I paid $30 for Thrive on this in another video. I have to price check that, but we shall see. These, I like Tillamook, the brand in general, and they had these snacking cheeses the last time. I think they were a new item. 52 of the little medium cheddar snacks. They were $3.50 off, originally $12.99. Matt came with me, so you know we got ice cream. He picked out these chip witches. There are 10 of them in there, and they were $11.99. I've tried to calm down with the fig bars with the kids, 
because they were just getting obsessed with them. These are pretty much my car treat now. I bring them in the car in a little bag so they know they get one of these when we go for car rides. Otherwise, they were just asking for fig bars nonstop. And I was like, okay, guys, we need to calm it down a little bit. $16.99 for $40. There are just the original. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the raspberry and the blueberry flavor. There used to be three flavors. The original fig, raspberry, and blueberry, but they dropped that other one. Did I say how much that was? $16.99. Do you know what? I feel like never sees the price issue with inflation is potatoes. Everybody just needs to start eating more potatoes. 10 pounds rest of potatoes, $4.99. They actually are very consistent. These are great for, I like to make just fried potatoes in a cast iron skillet. Delicious mashed potatoes, baked potatoes, twice baked potatoes, all sorts of good stuff. So I got those. This is a staple in my little toddler house. The organic whole milk yogurt. These are, there's 16 pouches in here and they are $16.99. So basically roughly a dollar a pouch. Target sells these for $6.99, I think, when they're not on sale. My grocery store has them for $8.99 when they're not on sale, and it's a four-pack. So they're like $2 a pack. So it's, sorry, I don't mean to make you cock your head. It's such a steal at Costco for these, and they only come in the two flavors, the strawberry, beet, berry, and the pear, spinach, mango. I said how much they were, right? $16.99. I got two boxes of these, but they don't fit in the cooler, so we bust them open. There's some, and those are just the others right there that are going in my outside fridge. I finally needed a restock of the Arm & Hammer baking soda. This is a 13 and a half pound bag. I use this for laundry, for cleaning. I've talked about this before. I don't actually use this one for baking. I get that from Thrive. It's a little bit different. So this was $8.99. I finally went through my bag of carrots. I buy this like every couple months. Six pounds of organic carrots. It lasts forever, $5.99. My Costco may have been running out of these, but they had these again and they did not have an asterisk. Same brand, just a different type of chip, I guess. I don't know what you call them. These are flat. These are the ones that Paul likes. And I was just having trouble finding this bulk bag size anywhere else but Costco. That's like a 10.8 ounce bag. And that was $9.89, was not on sale, unfortunately. Did not check my freezer before we left, but I just got a, a restock of the double bag of mozzarella. That's primarily for Friday night pizza, $12.99. I got these the last time, the skinny dipped cups. I hope they don't get rid of these. These were actually really, really good. Dark chocolate peanut butter cups, and they were $13.69. There are 30 cups in there, and they're like individually wrapped. It's a great little treat. Matt gets this for work. It is the Folgers ground coffee, 43 and a half ounces, two, it's really almost like three pounds of coffee. This was actually on sale, $11.99 originally, $2.70 off. I bought the big old three pound block of Philadelphia original. I take this and I just cut it into the eight ounce bricks and just freeze it and keep it in my freezer so I can try to be a little economical a little bit. So not on sale, $9.49. The Kinder's chicken sauce, chicken dipping sauce. Well, I guess it's not chicken. No, it is chicken sauce. This is like the Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A sauce. Originally $7.99, dollars off. Tilly absolutely loves these baby bell cheese. This is a really good deal. There are 36 little mini bell cheese. They only have the red, like the original flavor, $13.89. I did some grating cheese restock. This is the Pecorino Romano. I like that versus Parmesan cheese, $22.41. And this is 1.95 pounds. And just in case you're curious, it is a product of Italy. Okay, so Matt actually got two packs of these for work. This is the California Snackin' and it is bite-sized salami and provolone cheese pieces. They were $11.99 and there are eight little individual packs. Back over here, the Kerrygold, I don't know how to pronounce this, Dublinger, Dublinger, natural cheese. It's cheddar-y. It reminds me of a cross between cheddar and Parmesan. It has like the dryness of Parmesan, but like the tang of a cheddar. It's delicious. I like to grate it up and melt it. $13.14. And this was... A 1.8 pounds. I also got a bigger bag of these. I got these at a grocery store the last time I went. These are the little sweet peppers. What is this? A one and a half pound bag, $4.29. And we'd never seen these, the Stony Fire Nan Non Crisps Sea Salt. And these were $9.49. There are two 14 ounce bags in the box. And then while I'm over here, Matt always gets the tzatziki from Costco. And I saw in one of the Facebook posts that people said one of their favorite things to dip in it was these mini non dippers. And I'd seen these 
and they're actually in like the cheese deli section that has like the meatballs and things like that. That's where I, I find them. I think that's kind of a weird place for them. So I guess they are keep refrigerated. They look delicious. They're like little, I don't know how she calls those, like silver dollar pancake style. So we got those and they were $5.99 for 19 and a half ounces. So I got these little romaine lettuces. There's five little lettuce heads here and they were five little lettuces here. Artisan ro romaine, so Romano, $5.99. I told Matt to grab a pack of green beans. So this is two pounds of the organic French green beans and they're like already going bad. I don't know if you can tell that or not. So that's okay. Uh, I'll probably just rinse them all off. We'll use some for dinner maybe tonight and I, they freeze beautifully. I don't par-bake them, par -bake them, par boil them or anything. I just throw them right in the fridge. Those were $5.49. I got a bag of, I got a bag of gala apples for the kiddos. This is three pounds. I feel like they're always three pounds. Three pounds of apples with Mickey Mouse on them, $4.99. I also, these are my fave. I like to cut them up for Salads, Tilly also really likes to eat them. $5.99. I got some organic raspberries. These were $7.99. Everybody's losing their mind upstairs. This is where I was telling you, like, look how big the strawberries are. <gasps> so they look delicious. So this is two pounds of strawberries and they are $10.89. Bananas, where are you? I got the three pounds of these are organic bananas, $2.49. This is what we're dipping those mini nans in the tzatziki Mac got to. I don't know why. I don't eat it. He does $7.89 each. And organic blueberries. We've been going through them like crazy. One pound, two ounces organic blueberries, and they were $8.79 each. Matt got some green grapes. Those are his favorite. I have not gotten grapes in a very long time. These were $5.89 and it is three pounds. Also just for snacking, I got some, uh, these are two pack, two 32, 32 ounce bags of the cut peeled baby carrots and they were $6.39. And then these were on sale. These are, is a cat, C-A-T? I don't know, they're like undershirts. They were originally $14.99, they were $3 off. So Matt snagged three of them and he got in the navy the gray and the black. And then of course I can't go to Costco without getting the nuggets. So it's kind of hidden on the top, but these are the Costco chicken. These are the ones that are supposed to taste like the Chick-fil-A ones, but it's the Costco brand, 64 ounce bag, four pounds approximately. And this was $13.99. So as always, thank you so much for watching. If you like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.